vetting your volunteers and making it a win-win. Welcome back to LinkedIn to Lead Generation. Hannah, it's so sad we're on the fourth of our four-part series uh, on how nonprofits can really maximize the, their impact by using such a powerful tool like LinkedIn. So what are we talking about in today's episode? Okay, so in some of the previous episodes we talked about you know, using advanced search to find these volunteers that can donate their pro bono skills and, and things to our cause, to expand our right. cause, which is fabulous, right? Um, so as much as we are appreciative of that, okay, when we do this, we want to make sure that we vet them so that we get really the skills that we need. So, you know, right. there might be people who say, oh, you know, hey, I have marketing and I'm willing to, you know, help you, but then it's kind of like that learning process, you know. Um, so you want to, when you look at their profile for uh, their LinkedIn profile, you want to look to see, have they been endorsed for some of these skill sets? Do they talk about it in their experience section? Do they talk about it in their summary section? Have they been recommended for, you know, again, these sorts of skills that you really need? Excellent. Okay. And, and uh, those are basically the areas we're going to cover. So we're going to talk about vetting volunteers, you know, through, by looking at their profile. We're going to talk about using the volunteer experience to, you know, build skill set and expertise. And then we're going to talk about thanking volunteers and board members by using that LinkedIn recommendation function. So let's, let's talk about that. So yeah, I mean, just because somebody wants to volunteer doesn't mean they're a good fit for my organization and that I automatically have to accept them just because they're they're feeling generous. So how do I vet uh, volunteers effectively if I'm that nonprofit? Right. So again, when you do that advanced search, it's really great to put in those keywords that mm -hmm. specifically speak to those different um, things that you need, those skill sets right. that you need. And hopefully then, you know, LinkedIn's going to come back with the search results for people who are have put that within their profile as something that you know they highlight that they have a lot of experience in. Mm -hmm. um, but just when you go and you read through that profile, you want to see you know a couple different things. Number one, you know, do they have those skill sets? Number two, do they have they volunteered before? Mm -hmm. um, you know, are they the type of person who you know seems to give back to the community? Um, you know, have they had success doing that sort of thing? Um, so that's another thing that you, you want to think about just, you know, because again, you don't want to bring people on board who really don't work out. It's a big waste of time. Right. Um, and again, those connections that you guys have in common, is there a strong enough connection that you can easily have that introduction to them? And we'll kind of also, you know, you think about it, like if one of my friends recommended me, you know, to mm -hmm. help out in an organization. I'm going to work even harder than I normally would. Right. Because you're representing them as mm -hmm. well, right? So you kind of have that in the back of your mind. So those are just some things that you want to do to kind of like vet them. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So you're going to really, you know, go through that profile in detail, look for those connections, look for those keywords, look for that experience. I, I like the, uh, the important one that you said, have they done sort of, donated service in the past or are they only for profit in which case they may or may not be a great fit but if they have done it before you can at least have some confidence that they might be a better fit so let's talk about the next point here which is using volunteer experience to build skill set and expertise so what are we talking about here okay so say for instance you're not really coming up with anyone <laughs> who has any common connections or you know whatever but you have you know approached like we said before, like some schools or, you know, some trade organizations that haven't really done this kind of thing before, but they're willing, to, they have the helpful spirit, you know, to do this. As a kind of like enticing um, strategy, you know, you mm -hmm. can say to them like, um, hey, you know, I don't know if your school, you know, has this skill set specifically, but this is something we can offer to your students to really build that kind of experience. Okay you know, that real world experience so that when they are going off into the workforce, they already have done this. Or, you know, if you just, again, sure. social media marketing, okay, so maybe there's someone who is well versed in social media marketing, but doesn't really get, um, you know, hasn't done a whole lot of work with um, a specific channel 
or you know with Facebook ads or you know really wants to get their feet wet with that you know this is the perfect opportunity so you can reach out to them and just say listen we have this need I know it doesn't look like you've quite really that's not your wheelhouse but you know would you be willing to work with us on this and you know most people would sure because now you're you're actually making yourself into a resource to that to that school or that training program saying hey look we, we need these services we're willing to kind of teach your person to do it becomes a, a true internship kind of concept right right and and even professionals as well so okay. you know so a lot of again you know social media people there's so much in social media like your head mm -hmm. can explode sure. you know you gotta know so many different things and sometimes you know a little bit about everything but you're not really doing deep dives into it so you know maybe they can you can work collaboratively and they can have that but they're not you know working with a client and worried about you know it's volunteers so they're building up their repertoire Right. But the pressure is off a little bit. Right. So they're getting a service, but you know they're understanding that maybe this professional is really kind of using using them in part as as an experience building to kind of troubleshoot and figure out how to really succeed yeah. at doing this new facet of what exactly. they're going to expand their skill set into. Great, good stuff. All right. So let's talk about. Um, you know the all important. You know we always talk about you know being social on social media and remembering that these are human relationships and you know just because you're doing this digitally. So thanking your volunteers and your board members uh, by giving them a recommendation. Let's talk about that. That sounds like a great concept. Yeah. So you know these people are spending their time, their money, everything. You know to right. really help your organization to grow and to give back to the world. So it's really important that you give back to them. Okay, because sure. it's going to keep them fresh. It's going to keep them excited, you know, to continue to work with you, to spread your your company's mission, um, you know, and to help positively impact the world. I mean, it's hard enough working in a job where you get no appreciation. If you're doing this for free, you want to make sure that they feel right. appreciated. And even more so, um, you know, speaking and giving them a recommendation where you talk and highlight some of their skill sets so that you know they in their professional capacity seem like you know they are someone that you know what should be hired and things like that is a great way to give back to them um, and yeah so that's you know something that yeah. that you should be doing continuously yeah for a lot of people I mean we, we talked about it in, in other ways and in other episodes but asking for recommendations can be an awkward kind of thing so for you as an organization to be offering that recommendation on that person's profile they, they may be incredibly thankful and incredibly pleased and it may be a really powerful mo motivator for them to come back and, and do even more for you uh, because it is a very valuable thing on everybody's profile to have that third-party validation to have that that credibility booster of a really nice recommendation and from a nonprofit, it, it really looks nice because now you not only have done good work, but you've done good work for a good cause, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, Hannah, I, I hope that people have uh, just stumbled across this one, and they they you know they need this entire four part series. You know, if you're involved in nonprofits, whether you're a donor, a volunteer, a board member, or this is really your organization, you want to get connected with Hannah and this whole four part series that we're just wrapping up here on how LinkedIn can be such a powerful tool for you. This episode's been about really vetting your volunteers. Uh, you know, making it a win-win proposition, as well as you know, building experience and building recommendations. So we covered those, those three areas: how to how to vet people through their profiles, how to create a, a volunteer experience that is going to help that volunteer build their skill set and expertise, and then rewarding people by giving them a great recommendation and thanking them for their service to your your cause and your organization. So. We've got lots of other powerful stuff that you can tap into if you missed any of the earlier parts of, of this series, as well as lots of other great content that Hannah has created over at ChatterboxSocialMedia.com. So this is LinkedIn to Lead Generation that you've been watching. It is a show that Hannah does, and you can connect with her at LinkedIn. Uh, I'm sorry, at ChatterboxSocialMedia.com. Get on her mailing list. She does such great work, and she's out there, you know, trying to promote great content to help you with that work. So Ch um, Hannah. Uh, this has been great. I've learned a ton. We will be back. I know it's sad that we're wrapping up this four-part series, but you know we'll be back with another four-part series on another great topic. So thank you for all this great information, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks, Mark.